Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one. Today's topic, linear regression. Some of you have been watching my videos or have known me over the years know that I learned linear regression from the stock holy grail way back in my stock fetcher days trading stocks day trading stocks well recently on one of the sites uh, there was another trader I hope I pr pronounce his name right Forex Mosferian um, has used linear regression but he uses it in a different way he runs a bunch of linear regression lines which in this case are squigglies normally you see linear regression lines they look more like trend lines but he uses up to nine different linear regression lines and what I've learned though is trying to understand his methods and learn his triggers and his way of viewing the market um, is I've come across something that's just it seems to work well and it's this lower sub window indicator here see right now if you have red yellow and green in this order he says it's a bull market so once you see this indicator turn green what you want to do is look to go long long opportunities now he likes to scalp for three pips at a time and these horizontal lines here are three pips on the, using a sweet spots gold indicator but you can see here you see right here it says look for a long opportunity and you see here he had a chance there was maybe a little drawdown but it seemed to go nicely and what he's looking for is about a five pip scalp but he'll take I think a pip or two if that's all he gets at the time but what I did was I wrote I'm trying to understand his method so I wrote this indicator and you can see here if it's green yellow and then red in this order what you want to do is you want to look for shorts so you see right here at this peak the indicator was telling you look for a short and there it was so what I did was I went back to just horizontal lines and using this indicator and you can see here once again it triggered look for a long opportunity and there was 20 pips and then here it says look for a short opportunity so you see how it went up through here and decided to come back down well there's another 20 or 25 pips once again just using this as a directional indicator which way should I trade you see here it's still showing red so even though it went up here now it's showing green but then it went down but see up here you don't see a long opportunity and then maybe here maybe you see a long and here maybe you see a short but maybe you don't so once again using your eyes just on this chart you can see this is the low and this is the high so this is where you want to think about something down here it says go long you see price crossing the line so price is going up and then here you see price went up but now it's crossing the line so price is going down and so combining this linear regression way of looking at the market whether it's a bull or a bear just combining that and using that alone with simple horizontal lines and just saying okay well here's the low and it's saying no wait okay now it's like okay it's crossed the line price is going up you get a little confirmation and you do it so this is telling you market direction which way to look either bull or you just want to wait or it's saying bear so fellow traders this is another way now somebody said something to me or something on one of the forms or they replied on one of my videos that oh I'm still searching I don't know 
you know, why do I have so many methods? Well, you know, there's so many reasons why you should never stop learning. I, I mean, you can see there's famous quotes talking about how, you know, the teacher learns more from the student and things of that nature. Plus, it, by learning the way somebody else does something, it keeps me sharp. You know, I exercise my programming skills. And sometimes I find something that I can use is profitable. So just this one little simple indicator here that I took, and basically instead of me having to read the chart and figuring out what the market structure is and which way I should trade, I can let the computer tell me. And I can say, okay, yeah. And, it, and the nice thing about it is, it's one way of keeping you out of trouble. It's almost like my training wheels indicator, where I can look over here and I can say, but this is the multi, uh, the candle color multimeter. Well, you see here with all this red, even though it's up for the day, this is telling me bull. Hmm. So right now the market would be agreeing with the daily, but based on time of day which is almost right now when the New York's going to close. There's there's no sense in entering a trade right now, but back here when things were active, it's a different story. And as you can see, sometimes the indicator might be a little slow because you could have just taken that trade on the line cross. But just this gives you another level and might keep you out of trouble. It gives you another level of indication which way to trade. And that's one of the things that most traders have a problem with. They go long when they wish they, then they wish they had gone short, and they go short and they wish they would have gone long. So maybe just using a simple indicator like this can help. Is it going to miss some trades? Of course. But the thing is, would you rather be wrong with a profit or wrong by missing an opportunity? or wrong with the loss. You have to make that decision for yourself, fellow traders. And as always, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. The Rumpel One, signing off.